Nice. Nice. Keep that hooked up. Yeah. No, don't pull it out of the water. There you go. We get the net. All right, guys. What's up? Good morning. Welcome back. Appreciate you tuning in. Today, we're down here a little south where we live. We're in Vero Beach. Uh, the plan is to kind of fish um, these big docks. We got these big canals with these massive boats, deep water. We're gonna kind of look around for maybe some tarpon, snook, big jacks. We do have these little guys. Jen's still working on her sheep's head. So we got these little fiddler crabs. And this is what I'm gonna be concentrating on today, guys. The uh, voodoo shrimp It's one of my favorite lures, shrimp lures. There's a lot of different types of shrimp lures, a lot of variations. Um, these I seem to really get a lot of strikes. I like the way they work, the way they swim through the water. So we throwing that around a lot for today. Of course, you already know who's behind the camera. I've got Jenny with me. I'm excited, guys. I'm hyped. She's ready. Let's get into it, guys. Let's catch some fish. All right, guys. This is the uh, you know bigger variation. This is what I'll be throwing for today's video primarily. Uh, I might switch around if something else you know starts popping off, but I really want to try to catch some good fish on this. Uh, this is I think this is the four inch. Yeah, I think this is the four inch, and they also have a three inch variation. So I like this guy's just better action. Um, but yeah, we're gonna throw this guy around. Let's try to pick up some fish. It escaped and then I caught. Yep. What is that over there? That's swimming. You see that? Yeah. There you go. Nice start. There's a trout. Good trout, too. There, guy. There we go, guys. There's a nice trout, actually. We're on some trout. Got this little guy. Not too big, but it's a good start. All right, let's see you, bud. Go get bigger. There we go. Ooh, he thumped it. A nice thump there. There he is. Ah. Come on, take it, bro. Trout messing with my lure, guys. They're all over the gotcha or the uh, voodoo shrimp. They're all over this food of shrimp. Keep getting thumped and I'm not getting that. Ugh. There he is. There it is. That's a little ladyfish. Hey, poor man starping. He spit it right there. A little jump and everything. Come on, child. I know you're there. There he is. Well, that feels like a better one for sure. Nice. There you go. Nice trout. It's good to see some decent trout in here. Not monsters, but probably 17, 18, something like that. Come on, bud. Come here, buddy. Go flip. There he is. This hook is solid. There you go, bud. Later. Beautiful trout. Come on. Beautiful. Grab the rod. Okay. All right, guys. Jen's got a nice, nice sheep set hooked up. Her first. Nice. There you go. Oh. Ah, no, don't pull it out of the water. There you go. Let me get the net. Oh my the net. God, Look at the beautiful one. I know. Hi. That's a nice. I'm trying. Hang on. Sight casting him. Totally missed that on footage, but that was sick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's, That's a, a stud. Oh, all day. Can we keep him? Yeah, sure. If you want to keep him. Totally missed that on the camera, but definitely sight casted that guy uh, and then handed off the rod to Jenny because she needs a sheep. Right, baby? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> awesome. I told you I could see him just sitting there. He's oh, waiting for it. Jen's a little scared cat. Caught so many fish, but still scared to hold fish. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Good job, sweetie. That's a uh, solid, what was it, 15 inch? 15 inch. Nice, 15 inch sheeps. Here, hold it up to the camera teeth. nicely. Yeah, the, the teeth are insane, guys. Of course, you've seen these on my channel before, but obviously, he had old uh, Buck Teeth, Mr. Buck Teeth over here. <laughs> I think he's going home for dinner though, right, baby? All right, nice. Hey, we might have a little catch of cook come to you guys. Mm -hmm. Found that guy right on this little water color change here in the water. There's just like a little bit of, it was the clear water to like murky and there was a stacked up fish hanging on that thing. Boom, baby. All right guys, so I'm sure you can tell it's been a rough, rough bite, honestly. Um, we found plenty of fish, tons of fish, honestly, but just not getting the bites, man. They're very finicky. 
does not want to eat anything and we just switched the live shrimp and kind of cast around finally got that sheep's head so i do apologize there's not too much fishing action in this jenny did get her first sheep's head that was awesome so i think we're going to see you guys at the house do a little catch and cook we'll see you in the kitchen what's up guys we're back at the house um, we're in the yard right now we're going to go and fillet the sheep's head up definitely uh, was pretty gassed last night so we didn't really fillet last night obviously so it's the next morning we're going to get this fish filleted up now let's uh let's pull this guy out of the cooler a lot of people say it's really tough to fillet sheep's head you know it's just like a pain but basically it's because there's a massive rib cage in there um, the issue being is they eat a lot of crustaceans things like that and they usually those types of fish usually have you know big rib cages so you got to kind of work around the rib cage first thing what i like to do come in here bend the peck pin back or the side pin back and just kind of we're going to outline the fish so make your first mark go with the scales and these guys have some massive scales too so um, yeah when you're, when you're hacking these fish make sure you have a nice sharp blade all right so once you got your uh, line cut right there we're going to go around go to the tail go against the scales get your knife kind of in there and follow the, the thin line around the edge is really just outlining our fish watch your fingers when you get up to this head part so you just kind of got a little flap you just kind of work it away from the backbone slowly take your time what you eventually start to feel is the rib cage there so you want to work up and around the rib cage that's the toughest part to be honest just feel it with the tip of your blade in there We can still de-skin it, not a big deal. Sometimes that happens. Do your best to avoid that gut cavity. All right, so there we go. We avoided all the pin bones. Some people just go right through the pin bones. I try to kind of leave a little slit like that so you kind of avoid the pin bones and I'll pack them out the end. Take a quick little tip. All right, let's go into the other side real quick. So like I said on the first one, just the same, same exact way we did the first guy. All right, obviously we got the fish. As you can see, skin's still attached, meat's still attached to the skin. And then you just kind of work the skin down. It's just an easy way, you don't have to hold it. The fish kind of holds the, you know, obviously the other piece of the meat on there. But yeah, work your way down, follow the skin. The skin on these sheep's head is super, super thick. You don't really got to worry too much about it. It's not like uh, de-skinning off a trout or something like that. And then see, just like that, got a nice piece of meat. And see, that's why I don't do it this way because this can be kind of be a pain to have to hold the skin. I mean, once you get it going, it's okay, but it's just whatever's more comfortable for you, really. And let's go and get these pin bones out real quick. So yeah, work this little pin bone piece of meat out of here. Check those out guys, beautiful, beautiful meat. White meat, these guys are really good eating. Doesn't get much better than that, those are gonna be amazing. As you can see, we're in the kitchen. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and saute up some onions first. Our butter's hot, we're gonna go ahead and get these onions sauteing. I'm gonna throw a little bit of Italian seasoning in there, some salt and pepper, just to give it a little something. Garlic and herb. And yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever had, uh, you know, sheep's head, but it's really white meat, it's really good, tasty meat. Jen's behind the camera; she's gonna love eating it. She's, I think she's had it before, I'm pretty sure. How many you been? A while back, right? Yeah. It's been a while. Ago. All right, we got our onions going. We're gonna move over to our fish. I'm gonna go ahead and get it seasoned up. We're just doing a simple, like I said, pretty simple recipe. Salt, pepper, some uh, Italian herb and seasoning, and uh, garlic and herb seasoning. So let's go ahead and season them up. And I apologize on the paper plates, guys. Our kitchen's a mess right now. We're doing uh, 
basically a little bit of cleaning. We've got stuff all over the place, reorganizing the whole kitchen. So, apologizing the paper plates. All right, those onions are looking nice, guys. Let's go get the fish going. We got the uh, other fillets going in. We had to move some stuff in, squeeze it in. Those onions are taking up space, but we got it worked out here. Yeah. Fish is looking pretty good. Beautiful. Comes this new head right there. <laughs> of course. My favorite part of catching cooks, guys, the taste test. <laughs> this fish is really white meat, really flaky. Look at that. Look at that. White meat. Crispiness. Beautiful. Gotta let it cool off. Stuff's really, really hot. <laughs> You guys already know. I don't even gotta say anything. The caramelized onions and gives it like a little sweetness. It's really good with it actually. Like I said, don't even gotta say nothing. <laughs> well, you taking the plate, really? I'm taking it. Okay. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as you can see in the background, it's nighttime. It's late. Long day. Um, you know, we, we had a tough day fishing, but we made it happen. We only got one sheep's head. Apologize on the fishing today. It was just a rough, rough day. But on to bigger and better days, guys. So we got snook coming. Uh, it's going to start getting warmer. We got tarpon rolling in on the beaches. We'll be hitting the inlets. We got big plans coming, guys. Please, if you uh, enjoyed the video and you've been watching, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Like, share, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Later.